Now on this Wednesday morning, it's time to take a few moments to talk about the latest happenings at Emporia State University. And there's no better person to chat with than President Allison Garrett. Allison, thanks for making that drive up this morning and welcome. Certainly. Thank you, David. Well, how are students and professors starting the semester at ESU? Well, we are excited to start our face-to-face -face classes on Monday, and uh, as we did in the fall, we uh, plan to have most of our undergraduate classes face-to-face. Uh, -face. We were about 74 percent in the fall, and numbers are looking similar for the spring in terms of the percentage of undergraduate classes that will be face-to-face. -face. Well, if that goes well, I think that'll make a lot of folks happy. Now, what about the vaccination schedule? Do you know anything about uh, vaccines for on-campus staff? Well, we've had vaccines administered to a few on-campus staff, our health care providers and our nursing faculty. Uh, sadly, higher education does not fall into the education uh, segment, and so our faculty and staff will uh, just fall in line wherever they um, happen to fall. So some who are already older will uh, receive their vaccinations a bit earlier. If they've got a health condition, maybe receiving their vaccinations a bit earlier. Uh, but there's been no special provision made for higher education to receive early vaccines. Now, if they can't get that and students are in class and there's a problem there, uh, would you actually go back to virtual? Do you have a plan that you can flip that pretty quickly? Well, every faculty member has been very diligent to make certain that they are able to pivot on a dime if necessary for their classes. Uh, but one of the things we learned in the fall was that uh, people are, are really very, very uh, safe in their classrooms. Uh, it seems that, uh, you know, the social distancing and the mask wearing and uh, the sterilization of every surface has been pretty effective, and we're hopeful that that will continue as well into the spring. Well, now I understand that there's a new graduate nursing program that may be of interest to some, so tell us more about that. There is. We are excited to be able to offer a Master's of Science in Nursing. There are tracks in management, in nursing education, and then a combined track. And for students who are interested in taking the, the program, there will be six starts per year. It is fully online. And keep in mind, this is for individuals who are already practicing nurses. It's a way for them to level up at a great price point. Well, and what about what else is going on? Do you have campus improvement projects that are either underway or wrapping up? Because it looked like from even our camera that we have on campus there that something's been going on. We do. So the Cossover Tennis Complex is well underway. We'll have some indoor tennis courts. We'll be redoing all of the outdoor courts. We are close to finishing up our Profit Aquatic Research and Outreach Center, which is on a lake shore just across I-35 from the campus. Well, it sounds like you've got a great mission, a great uh, outlook for this semester. I hope all goes well, and I wish everybody affiliated with ESU the very best. And if you care to learn more on Thank elevating you. that nursing career that she just mentioned there with that new master's program, you can join Erin LaRoe at 7 for that and more on Fox 43 AM Live.